So last night I left the Playboy Mansion at about 8.30. I waited until the movie was over. Sorry, we're on the highway on the way to the airport at LAX. To be pumpy. And that's why I knew I needed to get out of there early and I wanted to hit the gym. Um, it was really a great experience, but you know, my heart is with this competition and that's what I come all the way here for. So it was good to get home early and get some rest. And I brought home with me a bottle of Playboy water. That was my souvenir. I didn't have any of the cocktails or any of the, uh, you know, the beautiful desserts that were going around. It was very tempting and I'm very proud of myself on you girl i left your bottle of playboy water back in the motel room or that's hotel room okay. sorry that's okay i've got memories <laughs> okay so we just we're just waiting a few hours for our flight to las vegas because i was so confused and not didn't read my ticket properly and was waiting in line for United Airlines flight instead of um, American Airlines. So uh, by the time we got there, we were one minute late to check in our baggage. So we missed our flight and had to go and book another flight. And now we're waiting for the next flight that they could get us on, which is um, what's going to be 11.45 is now 3.10. So I was quite upset. Um, I don't know really how I'm feeling to be honest, it's just, it's hard. G2 bag runner requested really 47 the G2 bag runner 47 this, this little video is not for public viewing, this is for Stacey to remember. If she decides that she wants to do this again, we need to make sure we allow plenty of time. <laughs> She's so doing true. really well, she's just being a bit tough on herself. I just know. LAX is the oh. biggest airport in the world, Stace. To run from one end of it to the other to catch a flight is a big ask. I think um, I'm just feeling like I wonder um, why I'm doing this, but then I know something inside me drives me to just keep going. And part of me, it just makes me stronger because I was feeling on the way here. <laughs> A little bit like Burger King when we passed it and then we just walked past it again and I'm like there's no way I feel like that bloody Burger King because I'm not doing this again <laughs> so it's only five days now so I just gotta keep going you couldn't do it honey what was that you said if you can't run you'll walk if you can't walk you'll crawl okay I'll just keep of course she will. It's your dream. When it's over, you can have a new dream. Okay? Okay, so we've just checked into Planet Hollywood. Just checking into our room now. It's a bit bigger than the Roosevelt, which I'm now saying right. So I was saying Roosevelt, since I'm from Australia. So, and we looked around and realised there is no bar fridge. So great. Now what am I going to do here? <laughs> I think I have broccoli in my teeth. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> so, um, I don't even know why I'm smiling right now because honestly I don't know how I feel. I've just had a bit of a shit day, let's be honest. Um, missed our flights. Um, so we had to get new flights and then... They were delayed anyway and by the time we get here to Planet Hollywood to check in and I look around and realise there's no bar fridge, I'm like, what am I going to do with do? my diet? This is a... Anyway, um, I've managed to work out something with the manager for food service to get a special delivery every two hours and they have done a special price for me but it is still very expensive so I do thank my dad for giving me the opportunity to come here and do this because it is hard but I just have to keep going and um yeah just well, obviously Vegas isn't 
isn't the kind of place that people eat healthy. When we asked about um, supermarket, fresh foods, whole grain oh, foods. Oh, nobody even knows where they are. They didn't are. even know what we were talking about. And they said, nowhere. It did cost you, you have to get to taxi and it did cost you $15 or something just to get there. But it's okay because, um, you know, what I, I've realised is that it's going to be hard for everybody and some people may give up at this point, but I will not. I'm going to keep going and keep striving for my goal. You'll get there, honey. And, and I know when I step on that stage, I've done everything that I possibly could to be the best that I can be. You want me to stop it? <laughs>